Okay, today we got a big boy showcase. We're gonna be showcasing my favorite unit in the whole game, Ultra Vegito Blue. People have been asking me to do this because I've said multiple times that Super 17 has replaced Ultra Vegito Blue on Fusion Warriors. Even though this is my favorite unit, it's objectively the case. The argument being used against me is that, oh, well, Super 17 is blast based and Fusion Warrior is strike based. I'm well aware about that. The overwhelming fact is, Super 17 is so good he can bypass that and he he has Zankai buffs. You have to put him on the leader slot, but the rest of the team is just good enough to be used. G4, he's an old unit, so you can just Zenkai him and have him at a high standard. And Paikon and Gogeta, they've released recently, but again, it's not Ultra, Legend Limited, so you probably got them in New Year's or when their banner came out. That's the three I'm going to be using in this video. That would be the three I would use on Fusion Warriors, but in this video, we're going to swap out Super 17 for Ultra Vegito Blue to show you that Ultra Vegito Blue can still put in work. But in my opinion, anyways, Super 17 just does everything better and easier, especially because because he locks strikes and blues when you do a simple tap shot. I think that's wild. But it's not a Super 17 glaze video. We're showing Ultra Vegito Blue standard. Let's get into this video, man. Right, so everybody knows Ultra Vegito Blue has the vanish removal, so we're not gonna start with him. We're actually gonna start with Pycon. G4 also has the cut first time, so we gotta keep him on the sideline for the cover change. All right. I should have saw that PV coming from a mile. Could have cover changed there, but there's really no reason when Pycon can eat all of this. And the more I switch, the more I'm more likely to have to face this unit here. All right, now's the time to cover change because he's green, which gives UVB more rain. Good tap shot, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to switch him out. I wasted the vanish removal, but that's okay because... The combo is going to get crazy anyways. There's blue card right here. Build my gauge again. Every time fills the gauge, cover now. It's so easy to use UVB. It's like autopilot. Stomach punch into a dash up and a sidestep. Baited so hard. Let's keep going. Autopilot of death. Oh, Panther. Forgot about her. She's, she's, she's small. Get back. Does he not care about his beast? Guess not. Interesting position to wait in. Very interesting. I don't know if Bardo can go kill already. Yeah, you can do your thing. He's going to get indestructible, so unless, if he rushes me back, that's going to suck, of course. I think the odds are I'm going to get picked. You know, it's a showcase, and that would be natural. All right, cool. I guess we're going against the universe today. Woo! I can't complain. I cannot complain. All right, he realized I was going to stand there. Okay, damn, I kind of sold there by switching into G4, but it doesn't matter, uh, VB is going to win the game. We picked the exact same thing on Rise and Rush, like I picked Blast, he picked Blue, and then this time, you know, <laughs> again. Interesting. Ooh, none of that, boy. Enough time for me to bring VB back in. I think this is a drop. Oh, we're good though. We are so good. Not gonna use the ult. Maybe I should have. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I didn't think he had the guts to do that. Fair enough. How much damage am I going to take? Defenses is important as well. He's taking a lot of risks for a guy on his last leg, you know. Oh, I think I'm dead. I need to stop messing around in the hit mobile game Dragon Ball Legends. I'm messing up a perfectly good game. I'm messing up a perfectly good game because I wanted to be a troll. You know, I'm, I'm just seeing stuff and now I'm going to lose the game because I wanted to be a troll. Look at this. Oh, I have the resort to Rise and Rush. Sorry, my bad guys. We'll get into the next game. I'll just show you the fact that I won the game because people like to see that. But if I get picked, I'm going to be sick. All right, cool. We're good. I'll see you guys in the next one. Off that first game, you should know this video is going to be pure autopilot. All right. Should I cheese? I should. It's the whole point of the showcase. From long range is crazy. I mean, I'm not going to switch because this is a UVB showcase. All right, so there's my green card. I'm going to do the strikes first because there's only two strike cover changes on the outside. Super clean. How much combo is this? 75? Can I hit 99? I don't think I can. 91. Oh, I missed the, I missed the green card. I simply missed it. Like my finger pressed the outside where the main ability is. My fault. I, I shouldn't be making mistakes like that. It makes the showcase look bad, you know. My fault, my fault, my fault. I'm playing like a scrub. I need to behave. What's crazy is we both have like counters just of different kinds. So I'm trying to counter him through my version and he's doing blast ones and it's like, okay, who's going to attack first? But I think mine is like more global because it can do strikes and blast. He can only do blast. Damn, the main got me. That was a lot of work. We were both switching at high speeds, but let's end this. I could have ultimated from full health. I'm certain it would have taken him out. I'm I'm actually so sure it would have taken him out, but you know, I just naturally did the strikes. Maybe because I've been disappointed before actually. Well, he's dead. That was good wait for patience from him. Oh, I'm back to full health, by the way. <laughs> Just something I noticed. Yo, G4? Can you enter the battlefield, please? He wasn't expecting such. So, GG's. Vegito da. It's cool. That's a good play, I guess. 
I mean, the only thing annoying about this game specifically is that he has two blues, technically. I'm trying to get like multiple strike hearts, but I'm kind of selling here. I kind of expected that too, but it's G4. Switch back into blue, maybe? Probably not. My input didn't register. I tried to tap early, it just didn't work. All right, let me get this out. You got no vanish, mate. Where are you going? I should have done the blue card. That would have been so much cooler. If I did the blue card at that exact position, I probably would have taken him out because he sidestepped. Wait for the key to come back. You know, key is super important. Don't forget that, chat. Key is super important. We're back flipping. It's a bit more fun, you know. G4 getting the opportunity to backflip is just so entertaining to me. I'll choose it every time, sorry. All right, just a bit of damage there. We gotta get UVB back in. Easy strike. I was meant to drop there, but it's cool. Can I get a Dragon Ball? I cannot get a Dragon Ball. How many combos am I in? 42? 50? Gonna end that real quick. Doing no damage to this blue, I'll be honest. Obvious drop scenario. <laughs> obvious. Least obvious drop combo scenario, bro. He was obviously going to bring in G4. Oh my gosh, man. My luck is terrible. Indestructibles out. Mission complete. That's what I wanted. That's not killing, unless you use it right now. Yeah, I wasn't switching. He almost tried to bait me. We're good. Of course I don't pick him, he picks me. But what he did was pretty smart because now that he's rushed with G4, he's gonna get four more Dragon Balls, I think. So his second rush is gonna come super fast. I need to be wary of that. I think he's going to beat me. Yeah. He took his sweet time with that one. I can take that. I really want to switch. I probably will in a second. That's not killing me, so it's cool. Even if he popped it straight away. Just gotta watch out for Solar Flare. That's the one. Can't let that hit UVB. That's a free ult. There's a second rush. I told you it's gonna come super fast. I can respect it because it's part of G4's kit. As scummy as it is, you know. Sidestepped. B -b -b yeah, like the green sure do cover G. Oh crap! Actually, no, he already rushed. I don't think he can. 
do enough damage to take me out. Yeah, look at this. Damage stinks, mate. UVB eating that. G4 cannot be ready. I was sending that. Sending that. Easy, 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 easy. Uh, Bardock and Goku should be dead. Try your hardest, G4. After this combo that doesn't kill me, I'm going to counter you with a green card. In fact, let me start spamming it from now. Oh, man. I'm going to keep spamming it. Oh, I forgot he destroys cards. Sad times, man. Better luck next time. GG's, UVB, close that out. 16 time accounts. That was a long game, to be honest. But it was always in our favor. So we got the final game of the video. Not much to say, to be honest. It's Ultra Vegeta Blue. Could I be a scumbag again? Well, I was always going to be, but I feel like if I vanish, then do it. You kind of deserve to get hit by it. Super 17, right? Yeah, I deserve that. Let's see how much damage his ultimate can do, though. If you mid-range strike me or blast art and then I hit you with the vanish removal, you kind of deserve it because you know what's going to happen. But I'd understand if I just did it mid-range. I think that's pretty, pretty scummy. <laughs> like at the start of the game you're just floating there and he just switches into uvb and you just have to predict when when he's going to do that that's that's quite sad oh, this guy's doing a number on me i'm not gonna lie um yeah at least his ultimate's out you know jared's ultimate he's gonna become pretty much fodder later in the game All right, let's lock in. He's going to attack me now, surely. I forget the stomach punch locks my strike, so even if I counter him... It's not going to be how I want it. But can Super 17 survive 1.2.5 million from a UVB ultimate? Probably, but if he doesn't, that's going to look crazy. Just about. Just about. Just about. That is one equipment difference. If I put an ultimate equip instead of like one of my equips, that is literally what the difference is. All right, let's pop this up here. Gotcha. Blast here. He's not expecting that because he's panicking. Okay. What are you doing, man? Get back. And then UVB freedom. Oh, those costs are kind of high. Taxing me, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, you're doing too much. I need to lower my costs. Paying ridiculous fees. Did he sidestep? All right, one down. We're safe. Ho oh, ho! That was clean. Respect my play, please. Respect my play, please. Respect my. 
I don't care if MVP 17 comes in. Respect my play, please. That was a big boy play. I had no cost. I had two blues. My costs were high. No cards. I might as well just charge and get a bit of key. PV him clean. Oh, brother. Bro, you can't do a blast there, broski. You gotta use the strike cards, mate. Give me my vanish back. Thank you. Don't care about that 170%. Clean. Clean. It's clean. Super clean. Right, so it felt super good to use Ultra Vegito Blue because I haven't used them in quite a while, I'm not going to lie. He's my favorite unit, so I know the ins and outs. I know everything about this unit and I love using him. He's a super good unit, I have him at 14 stars. So naturally he was going to perform, it was always going to be that, which is why I was a bit cocky throughout the whole video. But one thing I will say, it's not even a major difference and it can even be chopped up to the fact that Super 17's on the boost because this is a comparison video for the most part. Because like I said, I still would choose Super 17 on Fusion World is over UVB. I think the main issue, or not even an issue, the main thing that's different would be that Super 17 would overcome blues easier. It's not that UVB can't, but I feel like I'm pressing strike cards and not getting anywhere. And maybe that's because he's off boost while Super 17 is on boost. But regardless of the case, at the moment, Super 17 just does it so much more easier. And in terms of damaging everybody else, it's pretty much equal. So it could be a preference matter, but if we're looking at it realistically, overcoming blues is a major issue when there's so many in the game. Bomku, Bardock and Goku being the main two, it's quite a problem. But outside of that, in my opinion, Ultra Vegito Blue is literally the perfect unit. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.